prepared for this review, I was actually worried I wasn't going to be able to get a hold of it. Um, the brewery in question for this, they only do anything goes growler fills on Thursdays. I stopped by there last week, Thursday after work, and um, the bartender that was on at that point, Noelle, shout out to her, she's fucking awesome. Um, she tried to do a fill of it and got like that much into the growler and the keg was kicked, so I just ended up getting something else that day. Uh, went back this week because they had it back on their tap list, and miraculously, I was able to get a fill of it. I've been very excited about this one. Sarasota, Florida, Big Top Brewing. This is Blown Bubblegum Pale Ale. And you look at that, that is a beautiful color. I mean, if, if that does not scream bubblegum right there. And probably the, the last drink I had that kind of had this kind of coloration to it was, eh, it might have been a little bit lighter, but that um, Not Your Mother's Strawberry Rhubarb Pie. And that wasn't even technically a beer, so. We'll concentrate on this one here. Oh my God, that aroma there, jeez. Okay, you know that aroma you used to get when you'd open up a pack of trading cards. Um, I guess, you know, baseball cards. I, the, the cards that I remember getting that had the bubble gum in them were the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collector's cards. And the gum inside there was disgusting. I mean, you, you would get, it would crack in half. It was brittle. The flavor would last for maybe a minute or so, but that aroma coming off of it, that's what I'm getting out of this. Very nostalgic here. Oh my God. And the flavor matches too. It's, it, it's that nostalgic bubblegum flavor. It's not, it, it's not feeling big and juicy and chewy. It's that, it, it's really that trading card bubblegum sense, and not in a bad way. And at the tail end of it, you know that, that kind of bitterness you get that um, when that, that kind of gum starts to lose its flavor on you and you're just about ready to pitch it, that's kind of the bitterness I get at the end of this. Whether it's from the bubblegum or just from the nature of it being a pale ale itself, Either way, it works. It's good. Oh my God. Oh, that is damn, damn, damn refreshing. I mean, it's, it's almost like a take on a tropical pale ale, but instead of using like a citrus kind of sweetness, you're going with bubble gum. Um, and I know in certain Belgian beers, when that Belgian yeast is in play, that bubblegum flavor is often, you know, it pops up in reviews when people just go, oh, you know, a banana, clove, bubblegum. To be honest, I've never picked up on that bubblegum flavor in those beers. M my palate is weird, I don't know. But this, this is straight up bubblegum and it works. I will admit, I was a little apprehensive that I would have kind of overblown this in my head as to how good it would be. It's actually better than I thought it would be. It, and it, it's just refreshing. It's not overbearing, it's not cloyingly sweet. It's just fucking good, god damn. Oh, I don't think I even mentioned the ABV on this one. I believe it's 5.7% ABV, so nice, refreshing level ABV there. Very, very good. B Big Top has knocked it out of the park with this one. I wish they would bottle this one because I would buy a shitload of it and I'd be drinking it a lot. I mean, it's, it, it, it's such a great summer beer, just like that, oh damn. One more drink, one more sip. Oh, mainly because I'm thirsty too. <laughs> oh, that is so good, so good. After I kill this, I'm, I'm. If they have it on tap again next week, I might have to go back for another fill. So good, because I don't think this growler is going to last the night. Very, very good. Um, speaking of Sarasota breweries, I am going to be stopping by Calusa Brewing in Sarasota. It's a brewery that up until this point, I, I hadn't really been familiar with. Um, to kind of set it up, uh, last weekend, my wife and I, actually, I had initially gotten a ticket for this and my wife decided she wanted to tag along, so I've gotten her kind of sucked into this. Uh, Welcome to Night Vale's live show in Tampa for um, their current tour, All Hail. 
on our way back, we uh, stopped at Oak and Stone in Sarasota. And they're one of those places that I think they have something like 20 taps and you wear an RFID bracelet and you go up to the tap, you know, it lights up and you fill however much you want in your glass. They had this one beer there from Calusa Brewing. I, I want to say it was called Dissonance, but I may be thinking, I looked on their website, I may be thinking of the pale ale that they had on there, but it was um, one of those, um, like the breakfast kind of beer, like the, the coffee cinnamon kind of thing going on there and it fucking blew me away that was the one beer that they had there that i went back for more i was like kind of sampling other ones but that was the one that i couldn't get enough of um so i'm gonna try and get a couple uh growler fills there when i'm in sarasota tomorrow uh probably a 32 ounce of that one and then they also have a milk stout with i believe vanilla beans and cacao nibs um and you guys know me, I'm a sucker for milk stouts. So I'm going to try and pick those up tomorrow when I'm in Sarasota. And undoubtedly, I will have two more reviews for you. I, I love doing the local beers. I mean, I, I did a lot of that in Jersey with, you know, Carton and Bolero Snort, um, you know, to a lesser degree, stuff like Cane and things like that. I love being able to get these beers out here. Big Top, um, Calusa now. I need to go to J-Dubs and check out some of their stuff. One of my coworkers and uh, his girlfriend, um, we had gone out, uh, a bunch of us from work, we had gone out one night and afterwards they mentioned they were going to J-Dubs and I've realized I've never been there. I gotta check that out. Um, and eventually I'll start making my way around to like Funky Buddha, Cigar City, stuff like that. I mean, I, I really wanna hit um, Cigar City for Hunapu's Day next year because I completely missed it this year. But uh, a lot of beers out here to drink, a lot of beers. So, but this one, Big Top Brewing, Blown Bubblegum Pale Ale, 5.7% ABV. If you are in the Sarasota area, stop by Big Top Brewing. Uh, I believe if you get off at the B Ridge exit on 75, um, you might be able to get, I think you can get there from Fruitville too. If you're a local, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But very, very easy to find. Um, it's actually... Um, practically just off the highway. You can actually see Big Top Brewing from 75. So give you an idea there. But uh, if you're around, check it out. See if you can get uh, a fill of this, get a pint of it, whatever. Try it. It's damn good. I'm very, very pleased with it. So with that, I'll see you for the next review.